guys, how are you doing? This is uh, Happy Bank Holiday Friday. So I hope you've had a really lovely day. Uh, we've got bunting outside of school, it looks fantastic. We're up to chapter seven, earthquakes and lost teeth. Here we go. Sagipant and Seepage had been groping around the tunnels for about 10 minutes when they gave up and sat down to pick their toenails. Oh, I'm really bored, moaned Sagipant. What are we looking for anyway? Whoever made them noises is what Cheek Cheesy Feet told us. Some kind of trouble, whatever it is, said Seepage. What kind of trouble, Seeps? asked Saggy Pants, squinting into the blackness. He was actually facing the wall. How do I know? Aha, uh -huh, guffed Saggy Pant. Is it black and greasy? Because if it is, I think I found it. That's my hair, you idiot, growled Seepage. How do I know you're not just pretending to be my brother, said Saggy Pant and tightened his grip. Let go my hair or I'll give you such a wallop, said Seepage, sticking his elbow out. Oh, why you? Saggy Pant yanked his brother's hair. Arr! roared Seepage. He grabbed something soft and bit it hard. With squeals of rage, the brothers rolled around the floor in a tight ball, growling and spitting. Suddenly, the ground above them trembled and growled again. The noises seemed very close. The brothers stopped fighting and stood up quickly, like two naughty children caught doing something wrong. What's that then? said Saggy Pant. I don't know, but it isn't right, said Seepage, looking at the floor. He slowly lifted one foot at a time to see if the noise would go away. It didn't. Worms, maybe? asked Saggy Pant hopefully. The noise grew louder and seemed to surround them. Chunks of the ceiling started crumbling and bits of it bounced off their heads. Saggy Pant held out a hand as if testing for rain. If the ceiling comes down, do you think we'll get wet on account of that bit? on account of there being that great big lake topside. Oh, I don't know about that, but I think we're going to find out what's making that noise any minute, said Seepage. I think you're right, Seeps, Saggy Pants said. He pulled out his lucky stick and jabbed it at the dark. Seepage joined him and they linked arms. Who's out there? They shouted, dancing a little jig they hoped looked threatening. Come on, show yourself, we're ready for you. It was just about the last sensible thing they said, heard or thought about for quite some time. In the next instant, the vibrating tunnel came alive, rumbling and crumbling all around them. The twins felt like they were in the throat of a giant beast. I don't think this is normal, quivered Seepage. The brothers wobbled violently. Their goblin teeth shook loose from their gums and fell from their mouths, lost to the darkness. Which was fine because you don't need teeth to scream. A split second later, a large section of the ceiling just above their heads opened with a very loud pop. They could just make out a watery circle of light before a ton of lumpy lake came crashing down, flushing them along the tunnel like two peas in a hose pipe. They were spat out of the tunnel where they joined the rest of the clan, dazed and confused. And that's that for chapter seven. Chapter eight will be a yak eating dragon's tail. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Friday.